Hello everybody! Welcome to Lesson 1 of Chapter 1 of my Computercraft Lua tutorial, dubbed Lesson 1-1. Allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Ryu, and my Minecraft skin is an Eevee. My name is pronounced like Rai and Yu, and I am coming to you from above the clouds. If you missed my introduction from Chapter 0, this tutorial is meant to be a guide for both new and experienced programmers to learn how to write computer programs using the Computercraft mod for Minecraft. If you don't know how to install Computercraft, you should go back and watch Chapter 0. It consists of four lessons in which I went over how to install Computercraft, as well as some of the features and pre-installed programs available in these blocky computers. In this chapter, I'll be going over the fundamentals of programming. Mostly, everything you'll learn in this chapter can be translated very easily to other programming languages. Throughout this chapter, I will also be inserting some specialized coding challenges in which I will challenge you to create your own original program based on a set of instructions that I will give based around what you've learned so far. The challenges will be optional, but their purpose is to give you some real-world application for what you've learned. Today, I will be showing you how to write your very first program. Look at these beautiful mountains. I'm just going to set myself right here. Before we get started, let me show you another pre-installed program, Lua. This is an interactive Lua interpreter. Any line of code you type into this console will be run by the interpreter. For example, right now I want you to open the interpreter and type print hello world exactly like this with the parentheses and the quotation marks, and hit enter. Congratulations, you just wrote your first computer program. No, really, you did. Okay, okay. I know this isn't what you had in mind when you came here to learn programming. I wasn't lying though, you really did just write a program by doing this. You see, writing a program is like giving the computer a set of step-by-step -step instructions to follow. The print function we just ran tells the computer to put text on the screen and then move the cursor to the beginning of the next line down. Lua does not read code per line though, it reads code per syntax. What I mean is, you can write the print function again, or press the up key to autocomplete the previous command, and put a space, then put another function called write, which does the same exact thing as print, but it doesn't move the cursor to the next line. Rather, it keeps the cursor at the end of the line it just wrote to. As you can see, you can put two different instructions on the same line, and the program will read them in order, as long as the syntax is correct. The syntax in this case means the correct spelling of the name of the function, which is case sensitive, the parentheses, and the quotation marks. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. The purpose of this interpreter is for you to test code. If you don't know what some code does, or you want to try and test the mechanics for some code without messing up the program you're trying to write, this is an excellent tool to use. It's an interactive prompt that will run the code you write as you write it. The code you write will need to be all in one line though, if it's something like a loop or a function. However, the code you write isn't saved anywhere. Every time you use the interpreter, you need to type up your code you want to run. This is not meant for creating full programs. To create a proper program, you'll need to run the program editor. To exit the interpreter, type exit. This is a function, so you need to make sure you put the parentheses at the end. Now, to do the thing you came here to do, you'll need to run the edit program. You type edit followed by an argument, which is the name of the file you want to edit. The file name will be the name of your program. If your file name has a space in it, you will have to make sure to surround it the name with quotation marks, so the program knows it's one argument. In reality, the edit program is just a text editor, because your program is just a text file that gets interpreted as code by the computer. You can really just use this to save a file with any text you want, but its real purpose is to edit your program files. Here you can start writing your first actual program. Go ahead and put print hello world, and then on the next line put write hello world. As I said before, you can put both of these on the same line, but it's a better practice to put them on separate lines because it makes the code more readable to humans. Also, in Lua, it doesn't matter if you use single quotation marks or double quotation marks. The computer will treat it as text either way. Press Ctrl to open the editor menu, and then press Enter to save the program to the file name you decided on when you ran the edit program. If the file doesn't exist, the editor will automatically create the file upon saving. Now press Ctrl again, use the arrow keys to select Exit, and press Enter. Now you're back in the OS terminal. 
You run your own programs the same way you run pre-installed programs, by typing the name. Although remember, if your program name has one or more spaces in it, you have to put the name in quotation marks so the computer knows it's all one piece of text. And there you go, you finished writing your first program, congratulations! Before I officially end this lesson, I have one more important thing you need to know. If you were to mine your computer to pick it up, and then place it back down, it will be placed down as a new computer with a new ID. Whatever programs you've written will still exist in your Minecraft- Bruh, they changed it again. <laughs> Before I officially end this lesson, I have one more important thing you should know. It's actually not as important now as it was in older versions of Computer Craft, but let's say you were playing in an older version of Computer Craft. <laughs> if you were to mine your computer to pick it up and then place it back down, it will be it would be placed down as a new computer with a new ID number. Whatever programs you'd written will still exist in your Minecraft world files, but you will never be able to access any of them again because the computer you just placed is a completely different computer, and the computer your files were on no longer exists. The only way you... <sighs> What's the point of a label now? The only way to get your files back is to go through your world save files, which I will show you how to do in a future lesson, but it's not possible to do that if you're on a multiplayer server that you are not the owner of. There is an easy way to prevent all that. There's a program called Label. You use this to give your computer a name, and this ensures that when you pick up and place your computer back down, it will always be the same computer. To use the program, type the program label, then the first argument is set, and the second argument is whatever you want your computer's name to be. Don't forget to use quotes if your name has spaces. If you just type label, it will tell you what other commands you can use with this program. This can also be used to set a label to a floppy disk in a connected disk drive. Now, obviously, in the most recent version of ComputerCraft, this is no longer an issue. So I guess the label is only really there for posterity. In any case, that is all that I needed to cover for this lesson. I'm hoping that my lessons will reach as wide an audience as possible. You see, ComputerCraft Lua was the first programming language I have ever learned. I tried learning other languages like C++ and Python before, but I just didn't get it no matter what videos or guides I tried to follow. ComputerCraft was the first thing to help me actually understand programming. And since then I've dabbled a little bit in JavaScript, C++, AutoHockey, and Lua when it's used in places other than ComputerCraft. I feel like this programming language is very easy to learn and I think it's a really good first language for any aspiring programmers who are trying to get started. In addition, even if you already have a lot of experience with other languages, ComputerCraft is still a very fun mod to play with if you enjoy modern Minecraft. That's why I want to try and teach this language to others. I really do hope that my videos will help you understand not just Lua, but programming in general. If you have any questions about what I covered today, please ask in the comments section, because your questions and feedback will help me improve my lessons in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next week.